Well, thousands of servicemen and women return home from war with life-changing injuries, which makes the transition from warrior to civilian even more difficult. Well, this week, Marines down at Camp Pendleton are competing in games meant to help them recover. And 23 ABC's Tim Callahan is live at Camp Pendleton following a local Marine who is inspiring many others around him. Tim? Yeah, hey guys, if you remember at 5 o'clock, we brought you that game live. The vets ahead of that game, well, they have since won. And as we mentioned, the purpose we're down here at Camp Pendleton is to follow a local uh, Marine, Corporal George Salazar, who was injured in Afghanistan 2012. He was competing in this game. He did an awesome job. My gosh, that was so cool. Tell me about that game and tell me about this win and what it really means. So you got the you got medals right around your neck there. Yes, I have uh, the gold that we just won for basketball and then... Uh, individual sport, I played, uh, I did shot put and I got silver for it, so I got second place. Uh, the game was amazing. I love these games. Basketball is my passion, so I just love playing it. So winning the, the game and letting my teammates Why win and get that goal, stories? it means a lot, especially for the veterans. They're not active duty, so when they come to these events, it means a lot to them, especially when they get gold and win. And George, you talked to, to me earlier just about what this means for you. Obviously, to be able to come back here on the court and to be able to prove yourself and to, to, to prove that this hasn't slowed you down, this injury hasn't stopped you from what you love. What does it mean to see all these people out here and to really be part of this? It's pretty exciting. Uh, it means a lot. I, a lot of people think that once you get injured, you're done. People are just stuck in the room. It, it's totally opposite. We have so many programs available for, for veterans, for any combat injured. So it means a lot. We're out here doing things that people don't can't even imagine. Like I have rugby players behind me. They're quads. They're, they can't control their, all their limbs. So they're playing out here, you know? So just like them, we're playing over here. I don't have legs. We're playing. It doesn't matter what injury we have. Mr. Salazar, that was an amazing game. Thank, Thank you so much for letting us hang out with you here down. We are again at Camp Pendleton. There is a uh, dinner that's happening here after this game right now at a mess hall here where volunteers actually from Bakersfield have come down here to serve that meal from Cafe Med and from Mexicali. They'll be putting a meal on for Mr. Salazar and other folks here who have uh, been part of this week-long competition. As you just heard from him, and it really is inspirational to see all these guys out here, and they really true, truly do battle it out. This was one of the most exciting basketball games I think I've ever seen, and just to know these personal stories and know where all these guys come from. It really is inspirational. So we're going to hang out here tonight and tomorrow we're going to bring you his story and give you a wrap up of all the festivities that have happened here at Camp Pendleton. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in Bakersfield.